Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into the next episode of our Let's Play Clash Royale series. As you guys can see, we're at 1,886 trophies, and we've been reaching a little bit of a plateau. Now, I still think we can keep climbing. Of course, right now we have level 6 commons, level 4 rares, and only one level 2 epic, uh, but I still feel pretty confident that we might be able to make our way up to 2,000 trophies with these card levels. Of course, we are level 6, and uh, throughout level 6, we will upgrade all of our cards by one level before we move up to level seven so let's just go ahead and keep it up as you can see I have switched back to what I think is one of the best decks in the entire game for arena five and below uh, one of the problems I'm running into now with this deck is that a lot of people are playing the elixir pump which is really hard to deal with if you're a lower level and you're not running something like hog freeze which of course I don't even have the free spell unlocked but if you guys are a level five or arena five and below I definitely recommend using this deck I used it for a lot of episodes of this series already and uh, it's super strong and it's the deck that helped me get to 53 and 0. Now let's go ahead and hop into a couple of battles, starting off with Anti Pulgas, who's a level six as well. And this is really rare. I don't remember the last time I've seen someone my level, um, but let's go ahead and go in. And as you can see, he played his bomb tower in a weird position to where my baby dragon took it out for free. And then we were able just to run down the lane with a bunch of troops that we had stockpiled from that push. And because of that, Prince is on the tower. Looks like he's gonna finally drop the skeleton army, which will distract my prince right here. Uh, but of course, a perfect counter to the a skeleton army is going to be this baby dragon because skeletons actually do a really decent amount of damage to the tower. I don't know exactly how much damage at level two they do, but I know for maxed out skeletons that they do like 70 damage a hit or something ridiculous when they're maxed out. Uh, so definitely want to make sure that I take care of that. Check out the fireball I placed on both the uh, musketeer as well as the tower. I know since his musketeer was level five that my fireball had to have at least a little bit more damage to one shot that musketeer. So one dragon breath plus that fireball took it out. And if you take a look at that tower, it's only at 430 HP, which means with a minute and 20 seconds left plus a minute of overtime, we should be able to take it out before the end by just fireballing it out. Now, of course, don't want to waste our fireball if he has something like the minion horde or anything that he's saved up so far. So let's go ahead and sit back on defense. We've got our bomb tower playing D, uh, taking a look at what cards we want to play. Could play the Musketeer or the um, the Valkyrie right there, decided on the Valkyrie. Just going to keep starting up a slow push. Every single second that goes by is another second that his bomb tower is getting weaker. He decides to fireball both my bomb tower and my Valkyrie. Maybe not the smartest idea, uh, but let's go ahead and baby dragon down that uh, bomb tower right there. Looks like he's going to start charging the our side of the map with that giant skeleton, and that's going to be pretty annoying to deal with. However, we will fireball that musketeer once again. Our prince is going to charge through that bomb and take a decent amount of damage, but still, we were able to defend our base. Prince got super close to the tower before he went down, and it's time to start dropping some fireballs on this tower. I know I didn't get to with that last one, but with the solid Valkyrie in the lane right here, we can sit back on defense. Uh, we could play a prince to help out this Valkyrie as well. Fireball trying to hit both the bomb tower as well as the regular tower, but let's just go ahead and get ready to throw it out. He does have that musketeer right there, which would be pretty nice to fireball down, but I'm just sort of scared to get rid of it, but I decided to do it anyways. Let's take out both that fireball or the musketeer in the tower. The musketeer will live with a little bit of HP because my fireball is only level four, and uh, this is where we have to go really heavy on defense. We can't mess it up right here. We're going to play our Valkyrie. Uh, we have the Valkyrie as well as the baby dragon defending that prince. Looks pretty good to me. And uh, take a look at the baby dragon. The baby dragon actually doesn't pay attention to that bomb tower due to the way that it passed down the lane. And as soon as it locks onto the tower, I know the game is all but over. Good game. And that's going to be a pretty decent amount of trophies. 18 trophies for beating another level six. It's always great to see someone my level up here at around 1900 trophies. And heading back to where we are, uh, we should have another crown in the crown chest. That's pretty nice. We can start opening up this silver chest as well. And let's shoot for two crowns in this next battle against Bira. And uh, hopefully we can open that crown chest up and see if there's any epics inside of there. It would be crazy if I got a legendary inside of it. I think I have the ice wizard unlocked to be able to get. Uh, I think you get that at arena five. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but let's go ahead and see if we can actually grab one. Bomb tower is going to go crazy on these barbarians right here, preparing for another battle. And of course, starting off with our bomb tower. Now, like I've mentioned before, first of all, those were an extremely weird set of arrows, but I don't mind using um, the, uh, what is it, the bomb tower in the very beginning. Normally on my main account, I will never play a defensive card first because they can just play an elixir pump and then make it really hard for me to come back for the rest of the battle. But whenever I'm uh, playing someone a higher level than me, it's actually a pretty good idea to drop 
your defense and take a look at that fireball that fireball didn't go pretty well i don't even think he hit my valkyrie right there and we're gonna charge down the lane and already take the first crown of the match now our goblins our valkyrie and our prince are still locked onto the tower i'm gonna throw a prediction fireball unfortunately it does not hit or it actually did hit that wizard wow i can't believe it hit that uh so only 544 hp left on that king tower and uh, so long as we don't mess this up, this one's going to be over. Of course, we don't have anything that directly targets buildings. As far as a troop goes in our deck, we don't have the Hog Rider, we don't have the Balloon. Uh, but still, as long as we play it cool, make sure we don't get a little too cocky on defense like we have in previous battles, we should be okay. And uh, let's go ahead and set up for another push. Now, with about 170 damage, I think our Fireball does. That's, uh, I guess that's probably going to be like four fireballs to take it out. So we'd prefer not to fireball it down. Uh, but let's go ahead and prepare for a big push down the right-hand side. And if he actually has some troops that come to my side of the map, I might just let them hit my tower and uh, I can just make a push down like the far right hand corner and I try to go directly for the win. Now we're getting a little bit of a push right now. He's going to drop his skeleton, super annoying and check out the three musketeers. I did not expect the three musketeers. I'm going to throw a fireball right here, just trying to get a little bit more value. That's one fireball. We're still going to need three more to three crown this match. And uh, with only 58 seconds left, I wouldn't expect this would go to overtime unless I really wanted it to. Uh, but Let's go ahead and play a knight for some defense. Let's play some goblins as well to help out against this wizard. And it looks like I'm gonna play the prince. I was hoping the prince would run straight for the tower, but he's actually gonna get a little bit distracted. And at this point, you guys can see I'm getting extremely greedy. Now, I think this one's pretty much over. I checked the damage of my fireball, 173. Just really trying to force this one to be over. Knight's gonna go down right now. Uh, my prince and the musketeer are still going crazy. Goblins are gonna try to help out and make their way to the wizard. I'm gonna throw another fireball onto the wizard right here. And and it's actually going to go down because my musketeer got a shot off. There's 198 HP left on this tower. And rather than drop a troop, look what I'm going to do right here. I'll let the barbarians run down to my tower. And uh, even if I'm going to take a little bit of damage, as soon as those three musketeers go down, the prince is going to start running down the lane. The Valkyrie is going to help out as well. And since he's so low after spending nine elixir on the three musketeers, Prince is going to crash into the tower, and uh, even though we made it pretty risky at the end going for the third crown, it's definitely worth it for our crown chest, and that's going to be a 28 trophy victory that was really decided within the first couple of seconds. That very first push that we did was ridiculous. He wasted a lot on those arrows that only hit my bomb tower. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out, check out this crown chest to see what we've got. We've got 192 gold, three gems. Wow, Supercell, thank you for those three gems. That's just amazing. A giant a tombstone, nine archers, and finally, no legendary, but 15 bombers. And the bomber's not too bad of a card. It really doesn't uh, fit into the meta right now because the Valkyrie's so strong. The Valkyrie's just like a way tankier version of the bomber. Um, that unfortunately is melee, but still the Valkyrie's just a way better card right now. But still, let's hop into one more battle against a guy using an elixir pump. And this is where I really struggle. Now, first of all, my starting hand is terrible. I don't have the Prince, and he has the absolute perfect counter to my push with the Valkyrie, so I'm gonna get almost no damage right here, and that was a 10 Elixir push, or a 9 Elixir push, and uh, he's just stacking with that Elixir pump, so this is gonna be really bad. This is where I've been running into problems with my deck, is uh, that I... I can't make that push when people are using elixir pumps and if I use an elixir pump against a level 7 or a level 8 I'll probably just get destroyed uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can defend and try to pull this one out it's not looking too great with that elixir pump completely untouched on the top left and we didn't do like over a thousand damage with our first push which is really what we want He's going to go with the minions as well as the giant skeleton right here. I've got my uh, my prince attacking that giant or that baby uh, P.E.K.K.A. Mini P.E.K.K.A. And then now I tried to redirect his giant skeleton, but unfortunately the giant skeleton died too fast. Got about a thousand damage off on our tower and a sad time so far. Now our baby dragon will take out the spear goblins. He puts a second pump down in the top right and a games can snowball out of the control with the elixir collector. It's just really tough to fight back when people are using these over and over and you don't have the cards that you need to push down their tower especially in the very beginning like if i had the valkyrie plus a prince as my first two cards things might have been a lot better uh, but still gotta play with the cards that you're dealt let's play our bomb tower in the very center try to distract um, this giant skeleton musketeer is going to help out with these minions right here hopefully be able to take those out before she dies and uh, it looks like the minion's actually going to be able to take it out because of that rage spell. And look at that minion doing work on our tower. Now, that's not even the worst of our problems. He's got the Valkyrie at full health. He's got the minions. And uh, when you're fighting someone with higher level cards as well as an elixir advantage on you, there's nearly nothing you can do. And uh, this is, yeah, this doesn't look too good. The minions are level 8. The Valkyrie is level 5. And uh, he is just going in on us at this point, going for a desperation push with the Prince as well as the Valkyrie. He's going to play the giant skeleton, which is a fantastic counter. And at this point, I throw out the sad 
bad face because uh, I don't see this one going too well. We might get a charge on the tower. Nope. Oh, actually, the prince did get a charge, bringing it down to 841, but he's stockpiling so much elixir right now. He is elixir rich, and uh, unless he just deletes the game or falls away from his iPad, then uh, this one is pretty much over. Baby Dragon's gonna help out against the minions, which of course are level eight, which is insane. We got the Knight as well as the Valkyrie making their way down the lane. Uh, Fireball tried to predict anything that he would have dropped in front of my Knight as well as my Valkyrie, but unfortunately not being able to do anything there, not too great. And uh, at this point, making a little desperation push, push with our Prince and some Goblins, but this is a good game. Uh, I know I said inside it, like in my last video, I said I pretty much got outplayed, but I don't think there was too much I could have done against this guy. I really played the best that I could, and I didn't make too many mistakes. Uh, so sometimes you just get unfortunate matchups. You got to do what you got to do. I tried to fireball my tower right there, but still, that's going to be the game. And uh, an unfortunate loss of 25 trophies to wrap it up for the battle. So still, so far, so good on this account. I'm hovering at about 1900 as a beginner level six. Of course, when I upgrade my comments to seven and my rares to level five, I would imagine that I can go pretty high on this account. Hopefully I can get my baby dragon to two as well. That's really lagging behind as a level one epic. I've been playing people with level three baby dragons and they make my baby dragon look like a, a really baby dragon. Is that even a saying? Uh, it makes my baby dragon look like it's facing a real dragon. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. 1907 trophies, uh, 3,600 gold, still plenty of gold to spend on upgrades whenever we can get those done. Uh, but that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.